Hello and welcome to Handa Ka Fanda. This is in response to Khurram's query on my Facebook page. As Khurram had asked, as you can see this is a long table. This is a question from previous year's CAT papers. These type of questions are very popular in which they talk about hockey matches and football matches where they take care of the goals done, goals scored, points and stuff. Let us look at this data in a little more detail. I am given that every team has played two matches each. Out of them, this column indicates the number of matches the respective team has won. That is, Spain has won one match, Argentina has won two matches, South Africa has won no matches. This column indicates the number of draws. As you can see that there are no draws till the second round. Goals for column, this is the goals against column and this is the points column. You get 3 points for a win, 0 for a loss. Now let's try and analyze this data. Our first question is, which of the following statements is true about the first two rounds? See, here I am given that Germany has played two matches, it has won two matches. The goals for are 3 and the goals against is 1. Now try and analyze what are the possibilities. Say, in the match, it had a goal against itself. Germany has won that. So, in the match that it faced a goal, that is this one goal, it must have scored at least two goals. It might have scored three also. But if it scores three in that particular match, it will have nothing left for the other match. We have to take care of two matches. And that is why Germany in one match must have scored 2-1 and in the other match must have scored 1-0. There is no ambiguity in this. These two results are sure results. Very similarly, Argentina has also won both its matches. It has done only two goals. How can it win two matches in two goals? In only one way that it has scored 1-0, 1-0 in every match. So for Argentina also, we are sure that it has scored 1-0, 1-0. For Pakistan, uh, we know that it has won one match and lost one match and the score line reads 2-1. So once again, there is only one possibility that the match it won, it won by 2-0, the match Pakistan lost, it lost with a margin of 0-1. However, as we move on, things are not so simple because these Germany, Argentina and Pakistan, we were sure of their score line. However, for South Africa, we are not very sure. The score line for South Africa is 1-4. As you can see, it has to lose both the matches. It can lose it in two ways. That is 0-2, 1-2. That is one way of losing two matches. Another way is 0-1 and 1-3. In both cases, it will end up with a score line of 1-4. So how do we decide upon that? Anyways, before we actually go ahead with this, let us look at something even slightly more complex. Say the match scores for Pakistan, uh, for Spain 5-2 and New Zealand 1-6. Which tells me that the highest scoring match was the Pakistan, uh, Spain and New Zealand match. I will just get to that detail but that is not required for the first question. If you look at the options. In the first, uh, so I do not know what exactly is the score line here. But what I do know is that this 1-3 that I am talking about for South Africa, it cannot have happened with Spain-New Zealand because the high scoring match was between Spain-New Zealand. 3-1 is a high scoring match. Also, if you just come here and you look at this, Germany 1-2-1, Argentina 1-0-1-0-1-0-2-0-0-1. There is nothing which corresponds to the South Africa score of 1-3. So that means this assumption of ours, this breakup of ours, that is 0, 1 and 1, 3 is an incorrect assumption and our correct assumption is 0, 2 and 1, 2. In most of the sets, this was an option that... So, okay, another point. Now, South Africa, we know, has lost one match, 1, 2. Whom it must have lost it from? The only 2, 1 that I see corresponding to South Africa's 1, 2 is Germany's 2, 1. So that means the answer to the first question is going to be Germany beat South Africa with a score line of 2-1. And that takes care of the first question of your set.
For solving the other questions of the set, let us try and analyze the data between Spain and New Zealand. Spain needs a score of 5-2, whereas New Zealand needs a scoreline of 1-6. Possibilities for Spain. 5-1-0-1, that is possible, it can lose like that. 4-0-1-2, it can also lose like that. Another possibility is which you try to figure out, let's say if it wins 4-1, then the other scoreline would have been 1-1, which is not possible. And hence we can eliminate this possibility. If Spain is scoring 5-1, that means New Zealand is scoring 1-5. And in the other match it is scoring 0-1 to make a total of 1-6. If Spain is scoring 4-0, that means New Zealand is losing by 0-4. And in the other match it gets a 1-2. And the third possibility we have already ruled out. So now we have to pick among these two as to the grand picture. How do we do that? See. Look at the matches that Germany, Argentina, Pakistan and South Africa have won or lost and what are their scores. Spain and New Zealand match takes care of itself with 5-1-1-5 or 4-0-0-4. Now, if Germany has to win a match 1-0 and Argentina has to win two matches with 1-0-1-0, that means there should be three losses played by different teams with 0-1 scores. One of them is obviously Pakistan. What about the other two? You guessed it right. That eliminates this possibility because the only way I can get a 0-1 is here. And so these are the conclusive scores for Spain and New Zealand. And now you have the complete table or con of conclusive scores for the first two rounds here. Germany, Argentina, Pakistan, South Africa, Spain and New Zealand. With the help of this, I'm sure you will be able to solve the rest of the questions. If you can't, please post on our Facebook page and we'll get back to you. Thank you. To get a video response, connect with us on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Thank you.